I was just overwhelmed. <laughs> I really think they've done a nice thing for those boys. A dedication with a deep meaning. It's a touching memorial to honor four fallen motorcycle riders. The men on their way back home from the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally were hit and killed by a drunk driver four years ago. Today, the American Legion riders dedicated a plaza to the fallen four. Rebecca Ray has the touching story you'll see only on three. Jay Bach, Stephen Benscoter, Dale Aspidin, and Dennis Cheney were coming home from the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally August 9th, 2010. They enjoyed going to Sturgis, uh, and that was, you know, probably one of their greatest sources of pleasure. The four friends never made it home. They were killed by a drunk driver. When people choose to drink and drive, there are consequences, and it just doesn't affect themselves. There's, as you can see, it affects a lot of people. They rode together, lost their lives together. Now the fallen four American Legion riders will forever be remembered together here at the Mills County Veterans Memorial Plaza. When they were taken from us, we knew we had to do something to honor their memories. On the four year anniversary of their death, the American Legions honored their brothers who were not only bikers, they were American veterans. And we knew that it, they wouldn't want something just about them. So that's why we decided on a veterans plaza in their honor. And that's when we decided to de dedicate it to all veterans, past, present, and future. A dedication with much deeper meaning to the families of the fallen. It's just great. I mean, I think it's about the nicest thing they could ever done for them. Dale Aspidan's father, Larry, learned of the memorial this morning. A complete surprise after years of heartache. I don't know whether I'm over that or not yet. <laughs> But, uh, you know, he was, he was a good son. While he'll continue to grieve, he'll find peace here, a place where his son's memory will live on. It's such a nice monument to them poor boys. Well, I call them boys, they were grown men, but, you know, they was all good friends, each one of them. And, you know, they, that's the way they died, as friends. Rebecca Ray, KMTV Action 3 News. Andrew Schlichtemeyer is serving a 50-year prison sentence for killing the four bikers. He was more than four times the legal limit.